Story Pod Realm presents The Neon Enigma, Part 1 The Mysterious Arrival. Detective Arthur Wellington, a seasoned investigator from Scotland Yard, had just arrived in Tokyo following a joint partnership between the British and Japanese governments. Although Arthur was well versed in the art of solving complex mysteries, he had never set foot in Japan and the sprawling metropolis of Tokyo was a world away from the familiar streets of London. As Arthur made his way through the bustling city, he marvelled at the vibrant blend of ancient tradition and modern innovation that seemed to permeate every corner of Tokyo. It was clear that his time in Japan would be an unique experience, presenting him with both new challenges and opportunities to learn and grow as a detective. Upon his arrival at the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department, Arthur was introduced to his new partner, Detective Yuki Sato, a highly skilled investigator with an impressive track record for solving some of Japan's most perplexing cases. Yuki, though initially skeptical of the foreign detective, soon found common ground with Arthur, as they bonded over their shared passion for unraveling the mysteries that lay hidden beneath the surface of the world around them. Together, they formed a formidable team, combining Arthur's methodical, analytical approach with Yuki's intuitive understanding of the intricate social dynamics that governed life in Tokyo. As they began their work, the duo quickly discovered that the city held no shortage of enigmas, each one more confounding than the last. Part 2. The Neon Enigma Unfolds One fateful day, a mysterious case landed on their desks. A body had been discovered behind a massive neon billboard in the heart of Tokyo's vibrant entertainment district. The victim, a young woman named Haruka Suzuki, had no apparent ties to the area, leaving the detectives with little to go on as they began their investigation. As Arthur and Yuki delved deeper into Haruka's life, they uncovered a tangled web of secrets and lies that seemed to defy explanation. It appeared that Haruka, a seemingly ordinary office worker, had been living a double life, one that had ultimately led to her tragic demise. Their investigation took them from the neon-lit streets of Shinjuku to the tranquil gardens of the Imperial Palace, as they pursued leads that seemed to materialize out of thin air, only to vanish just as quickly. Along the way, they encountered a colourful cast of characters, each with their own hidden motivations and connections to the mysterious Haruka. Among these individuals was a charismatic nightclub owner named Kenji Watanabe, whose establishment was located near the scene of the crime. Although he appeared to be the epitome of charm and sophistication, Arthur's instincts told him that Kenji was hiding something, a suspicion that Yuki shared. As they continued to unravel the mystery, Arthur and Yuki stumbled upon an underground network of illicit activities that stretched across the city like a vast, unseen web. It seemed that Haruka had been involved in this shadowy underworld, and her death was a direct result of the dangerous game she had been playing. Part 3. The Final Reckoning With each new piece of evidence they uncovered, Arthur and Yuki found themselves drawn deeper into the neon enigma that had claimed Haruka's life. They knew that they were getting closer to the truth, but with each step they took, the shadows seemed to grow darker, and the stakes higher. As they followed the trail of clues, the detectives finally found themselves standing before the neon billboard that had served as the backdrop for Haruka's tragic end. As they gazed up at the glowing sign, a flicker of inspiration struck Arthur, and he realized that the answer to the mystery had been hiding in plain sight all along. The neon sign, a vibrant advertisement for a popular brand of electronic devices, was not just a simple billboard, it was a crucial piece of the puzzle that had eluded them until now. Arthur and Yuki deduced that the billboard was actually the key to a secret location where the leaders of the underground network would meet. Following their instincts, the detectives inspected the billboard more closely, eventually discovering a hidden compartment containing a coded message. With their combined expertise, 
Arthur and Yuki deciphered the code, revealing the time and place of the next clandestine meeting. Under the cover of darkness, the detectives infiltrated the secret gathering, where they found themselves face to face with some of the most powerful and influential people in Tokyo, politicians, businessmen, and even law enforcement officials. The room was filled with tension as the truth dawned upon Arthur and Yuki. The underground network was not just a criminal enterprise, but a secret society that wielded immense power over the city. In the midst of the meeting, Arthur and Yuki revealed themselves, much to the shock and disbelief of the gathered elite. As they confronted the group, the detectives presented the evidence they had gathered, exposing the corruption and deceit that lay at the heart of the organization. The greatest twist of all, however, came when they unmasked the true mastermind behind the entire operation, Kenji Watanabe, the charismatic nightclub owner. He had expertly manipulated everyone around him, including Haruka, who had been used as a pawn in his twisted game of power and control. As the gathered members of the secret society turned on Kenji, chaos erupted in the room. Seizing the opportunity, Arthur and Yuki apprehended Kenji and several other key members of the organization, effectively dismantling the underground network. In the aftermath of the shocking revelations, the city of Tokyo was left reeling, as the dark underbelly of its society was laid bare for all to see. Arthur and Yuki had not only solved the mystery of Haruka's death, but had also exposed a far greater conspiracy that had been lurking beneath the city's near-lit facade. As the dust settled, the unlikely partnership between the British detective and his Japanese counterpart had proven to be a formidable force for justice. Together, they had navigated the treacherous world of Tokyo's secret societies and emerged victorious forever changing the course of the city's history. And though their time together had come to an end, the bond they had forged in the pursuit of justice would remain unbreakable, a testament to the power of friendship and the indomitable spirit of those who dared to stand against the darkness. The Bend. Thank you for listening. Stay tuned for a preview of our next episode. Next episode, Guardians of Ban Shankari, The Legacy of the Clever Rabbit. In contemporary Bengaluru, a tea stall owner named Prakash outwits Sheru, a fearsome gangster using cleverness and technology. Prakash becomes a local hero and establishes the Ban Shankari Welfare Society, fostering community development. His legacy is embraced by his grandson Arav, who expands their impact nationally. Guided by the ancient guardian spirits Dandaka and Rajanya, Arav forms the Council of Guardians, blending age-old wisdom with modern innovation. The tale, titled Guardians of Ban Shankari, The Legacy of the Clever Rabbit, celebrates the triumph of intelligence, unity, and guardianship in the face of adversity.